In a world shattered by nuclear war, the remnants of humanity struggle for survival in the irradiated wasteland. This is the dark premise of Fallout, Amazon's critically acclaimed new TV series based on the iconic video game franchise, adapted from the best-selling Fallout games that have captivated millions over the past 25 years. The show has been praised for its stunning visuals, black humor, and faithfulness to the source material's retro-futuristic alternate history. Since its premiere in April 2024, Fallout has been a smash hit for Amazon, topping streaming charts and rerouing for a second season after thus three episodes. Mainstream audiences have been gripped by this twisted vision of the American dream turned nuclear nightmare. But what if we viewed this highly popular and culturally influential TV series through a biblical lens? From its depraved premise to its post-apocalyptic worldview, how does the philosophy and messaging of Fallout align with or directly contradict the teachings of Scripture? Today, we'll go deeper than the thrilling storylines and arresting visuals. We'll examine the core values and assumptions underlying this dark dystopian world and contrast them with the eternal truths found in God's Word. From The Hunger Games and Divergent to The Last of Us and Station Eleven, the entertainment industry seems obsessed with visions of societal collapse and the dark future of a world gone mad. Fallout is just the latest in a long line of apocalyptic and dystopian stories to capture the cultural zeitgeist. But why is secular Hollywood so fixated on these narratives of cataclysmic destruction and humanity's embrace of depravity when unrestrained by civility and moral order? The answer lies in the entertainment industry's secular humanist values and active rejection of biblical truth about human nature and our need for a savior. Jesus warned that one of the signs of the end times would be a civilization consumed by violence, immorality, and obsession with selfish pleasures, mere shadows of the depravity that grieved God before the flood of Noah. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. People were marrying and giving in marriage up to the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. Matthew 24, 37, 39. The Apostle Paul also prophesied about the spiritual blindness and hardness of people in the last days. There will be terrible times in the last days. People will be abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 to 4. Could Hollywood's morbid fascination with dystopian storylines revealing an awareness, even subconsciously, of the judgment to come for a society in rebellion against its creator? The Bible warns that the God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so they cannot see the light of the gospel. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4 As we examine Amazon's new hit Fallout and the depraved world it portrays, we must view it through the clarifying lens of biblical truth, lest we ourselves become ensnared by the spiritual blindness being portrayed. At its core, the premise of Fallout depicts the utter collapse of human civilization after a catastrophic nuclear war. What was once a highly advanced American society has been reduced to a lawless wasteland, a post-apocalyptic hell on earth plagued by violence, chaos, and a complete lack of morality and order. But according to the Bible, this is simply the inevitable consequence of humanity rejecting God's sovereign authority and divine order for creation. When mankind turns from our Creator's wisdom, violence and depravity rapidly consume the world. In Genesis 6, we see the state of the pre-flood civilization that provoked God's judgment. The Lord saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on the earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all the time. The earth was corrupt and full of violence. Genesis chapter 6 verse 5 and 11. The Apostle Paul warns that this same societal rebellion occurs when people suppress the truth by their wickedness and disregard the reality of God as supreme ruler. 
For although they knew God, they neither glorified Him as God nor gave thanks to Him. Furthermore, just as they did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God, so God gave them over to a depraved mind, so that they do what ought not to be done. They have become filled with every kind of wickedness, evil, greed and depravity. Insolent, arrogant and boastful, they invent ways of doing evil. They are senseless, faithless, heartless, ruthless. Romans chapter 1 verse 21, 28 to 31. The dystopian world of fallout is the inevitable result of humanity rejecting God's created order, moral truths, and rightful sovereignty over our lives. It depicts the utter chaos and barbarity that consumes a culture unmoored from faith in the one true God. At its core, the post-apocalyptic premise of fallout serves as a sobering hypothetical glimpse into what the future may hold for a society actively suppressing the knowledge of the one true God. It's a profoundly unbiblical future that we must wake up and resist while we still can. One of the most disturbing aspects of the Fallout series is its depiction of the pre-war vault tech corporation using its emergency survival bunkers to conduct unethical experiments on the unsuspecting citizens sealed inside. In the lore, entire underground vaults were designed from the outset as insidious social experiments. The occupants, many of them children and families, were unwittingly subjected to horrific conditions to study things like the effects of dietary deficiencies, introducing artificial conflicts, or even pumping in psychoactive drugs, all in the name of perverse, secular science. While fictional, this supremely dark premise echoes the very real evils of child exploitation, human trafficking, and the dehumanization of the most vulnerable members of society that tragically pervade the entertainment industry to this day. Jesus reserved some of his harshest warnings for those who would exploit or bring harm to children, the epitome of innocence. If anyone causes one of these little ones who believe in me to stumble, it would be better for them to have a large millstone hung around their neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. Matthew chapter 18 verse 6 It would be better for you to be thrown into the sea with a millstone tied around your neck than to cause one of these little ones to stumble. Luke chapter 17 verse 2 By glorifying and normalizing the systemic mistreatment of the defenseless for the sake of an experiment, Fallout celebrates what the Bible clearly and unequivocally condemns as evil. They have become filled with every kind of wickedness, evil, greed, and depravity. They are full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, and malice. Romans chapter 1, verse 29. While certainly a captivating sci-fi concept, the vault experiments in Fallout reflect the depraved hubris of humanity unrestrained by the justice and moral truths of our loving Creator. From the sexual exploitation of minors to corrupt corporate atrocities against the defenseless, the entertainment industry all too often embraces the very evils that a righteous God detests. We must guard our hearts and minds against such malignant influences. In a bizarre twist, one of the central characters in Fallout is a pre-war celebrity named Connor Howard, a famous actor and vault tech spokesman who was horribly mutated by the nuclear fallout into a ghoul, but still clings to his former celebrity identity. While certainly an odd narrative choice, Howard's inclusion is a darkly satirical commentary on society's idolatrous obsession with entertainment figures and the cult of celebrity that has arisen in our culture. Just like the ancient pagan societies that crafted literal idols to worship, our modern society has erected its own idols in the form of actors. Musicians, athletes, and other famous personalities we celebrate, obsess over, and even model our lives after. But the Bible repeatedly and sternly warns against the sin of idolatry, making created things or people into objects of worship and deriving our identities from them rather than the one true God. You shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. Exodus chapter 20 Verse 4 to 5. The God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth. 
We should not think that the divine being is like gold or silver or stone an image made by human skill and imagination. Acts chapter 17, verses 24 and 29. The ghoulish Connor Howard character exemplifies how putting our adoration in human celebrities is a form of idolatry that can negatively shape our values and self-worth. The Apostle Paul cautions, Whatever were gains to me I now consider loss. I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. Philippians chapter 3, verses 7 to 8. Entertainment icons like Howard, who prioritize fame, fortune, and aesthetic values over spiritual truth are pedestals waiting to collapse under their own arrogance. The wisest ones eventually learn that true fulfillment is found only in the unconditional love of our Heavenly Father. While the Fallout series portrays the post-apocalyptic hell on Earth that emerges after a devastating nuclear war, it also imagines new societies and communities struggling to rebuild from the radioactive ashes. But based on the biblical perspective, can any new human civilization rising from such cataclysmic destruction and violence ever truly absolve itself of the depravity that provoked God's judgment in the first place? The pre-flood world that was wiped out explicitly suffered from unrestrained wickedness and a rejection of the Creator's rightful authority. The Lord saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on the earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all the time. So the Lord said, I will wipe mankind, whom I have created, from the face of the earth. Genesis chapter 6, verses 5 to 7. Unless the human heart itself is transformed by genuine repentance and a turning back to the one true God, even a freshly rebuilt society will eventually be overrun by fallenness once again. As God told Solomon, If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14 the dystopian fallout wasteland holds up a mirror to our culture, contrasting the depressing world that ought not to be built on humanity's pride, greed, and worshipping of false gods and material idols. While the fractured realms of the fallout universe continue their tribal conflicts and struggles for scarce resources, the true answer to chaos, war, and inhumanity has always remained the same, a repentant turning to the one who designed shalom, peace, wholeness, and completion. Absent that, even the most well-intentioned human efforts to rebuild society will remain a house of cards, a depraved new world doomed to share the fate of its wicked predecessors. At its core, the desolate, morally bankrupt world portrayed in Fallout is simply the inevitable consequence of a civilization rejecting God as the sovereign creator and supreme authority. When humanity arrogantly casts off the divine wisdom and ethical boundaries set by our Maker, the resulting chaos, violence, and self-destruction we witness across the fallout landscape is the only possible outcome. Hollywood's creators may cloak their narratives in thrilling action and dark humor, but their secular perspective is fundamentally at odds with the eternal truths and spiritual reality revealed in Scripture. We cannot serve both the fallen appetites of this world and the righteousness of the kingdom. As Jesus warned, No one can serve to masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 Ultimately, cultural products like fall out that revel in the brokenness of a world without God while presenting no higher virtues or moral center are proverbially awakening as Paul described. Wake up from your drunken stupor, as is right, and do not go on sinning. For some have no knowledge of God. I say this to your shame. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 34. The pathway forward for humanity has always remained the same to humbly submit to the Lordship of Christ, the only one who can redeem us from our hopelessly fallen condition. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John chapter 14 verse 6. 
So let us turn away from cultural products and influences peddling the nihilistic lie that apart from God, we are no more than radiation-poisoned ghouls wandering an irradiated wasteland of our own making. With repentance and faith in the Savior, a new world of spiritual renewal, hope and abundant life awaits, not a dystopia, but the kingdom reality that our loving Creator intended for His people from the, at the beginning. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, share, and comment. God bless you.